So here we have the Nissan Qashqai on a 66 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat and then both of these two tray sections will lift uh, to reveal more boot space and remove completely should you wish to do that. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think that's why we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total mass of the car, which are 19,900. You can change the information displayed above that by using buttons on the steering wheel. There's a digital readout for the speedometer being displayed at the moment, but you can change that information for various different bits, as you can see, and eventually that will come back round to the beginning again. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using just now are here. We've also got stereo controls over there, cruise control and speed limiter over this side, as well as the ability to answer and end phone calls. That is, of course, once you paired your phone up, and that is done over on the center here, hit the phone button, and then follow the instructions on screen using this dial and the button in the middle of it just there. When it comes to music, we have the radio, of course, and you can see there we have FM and AM radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do that via the CD player. If you hit the media button, uh, you can also see we have auxiliary input as well, and then the CD player just here. The main volume for the stereo is over on the left. Beneath that, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures, the fan speed up and down. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed. Then when you're happy with those settings, that button turns the air conditioning on and off. You can turn auto on and off as well. So at the moment we're controlling everything manually. If you want uh, the car to maintain these temperatures for you, just hit the auto button and it will take over as you can see. It controls the fan speed to maintain those temperatures and you can override that at any point in time you wish to. Beneath that, we have a 12 volt charging socket along with the electronic handbrake. We then have a six speed manual gearbox and inside the central armrest, the auxiliary and USB inputs. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.